Box and whisker plots are excellent for uh, organizing information when you need to know sort of the different areas of the groups of numbers. What I have are a couple of different box and whisker plots here from different areas of your lesson, and I just wanted to kind of go through what the different pieces of them are. So we're going to start with the one here in the top right um, and compare it to our sort of our key down here on the bottom. Um, according to the key, if you're looking for the range of numbers, in other words, um, the, the distance from the lowest number to the highest number, what you do is just start at the smallest mark on the actual plot itself and go to the highest mark. So we're going from the smallest value, the littlest number in the set, to the highest value, the, the greatest value, the biggest number in the set. So if we're looking at our first uh, plot up here on top, our smallest value is right at 50. And our greatest value is uh, just a little under 100, maybe 97 and a half or so, 98, maybe something like that. So for this one right up here, the range is between 50 and 98, or about 48 numbers, 48 values. So we can see by looking very quickly and without doing a whole lot of work that the range is 48. So our difference between our smallest and largest number is 48 points. Now with our second graph here, our smallest value is at 5, and our greatest value is at uh, what looks like about 17. So for that one, the range is between 5 and 17. So it's a distance of 12 between them, between 5 and 17. So I'll make this a colon so I can see that it's something different there. So the range of 12 there, or um, the difference between 5 and 17. Now something else you can find with a box whisker plot conveniently is the median, the middle number. The middle number in your plot is just the vertical line in the center of the box in the box and whisker plot. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that that's you know, the, middle, the middle number value-wise. It's the middle number on whatever it is you're counting, but the middle number of values. So here uh, in our top right-hand plot, we're, we're scoring percents. So what we have here, the middle number, our median, is there are an even number of counts, an even number of values below that, and an even number behind, uh, above that. They aren't necessarily, as you can see, since you know we're at about 65, you can see that there's only 15 uh, points or 15 percentages below the median, whereas there's, what, 35 percentages above the median. So it's not necessarily the middle of the scores themselves, it's the middle of the number of scores. And in our second plot you can see the same thing here. With this one, that median is just about 11. Well if our range goes from 0 to 20, the median should be 10 if we're talking about the median score. But we're not, we're talking about the median, so sort of the middle number of points, that's the middle of our graph. That score is 11, but that means that there's the same number of points below 11 and above 11 uh, in the numbers that we counted, or the values that we counted. Now the first and third quartiles then sort of mark the 25 percent points. There's one quarter of the values are between our minimum and our first quartile, and then there's another quarter of values till we get to the middle, so that means there's half below, and then up to the third quartile there's another quarter, so that puts us at three quarters of the way from the beginning, and then all the way up to the top gives us all the values. So out, except for outliers, which are sometimes values that just obviously don't fit in with the rest of the data, everything should occur between the greatest value and the smallest value. On our top right hand plot you can see the same thing here, our 25 percent point is at about 60, and our 75 percent point is a little under 80, maybe 76 or so. So really we're only talking about one quarter of the total number of people that got anything above 75. So whoever it was that got clear up here at 98 was definitely way above normal, since most of the people, three quarters of them, were below 80. And we can see the same thing here. In the second, uh, the second graph, in the red one, we can see that since most of the people, three quarters of them, were below about 13, 12 and a half maybe, the one guy who was up here at 17, whatever it was, that value was quite a bit higher than the norm. So the only other thing that uh, isn't really on our, our key down here is an outlier. And an outlier is sometimes marked with just a point, and that represents L I E R. That represents a point which just really doesn't fit in. Maybe there's some, maybe there's one guy who got, you know, exactly a hundred, and everybody else down here was something off. And there was one guy who got 42. So we'd put those outliers out here and just mark that they were there, but they weren't really representative of most of the data. So sometimes you'll see these individual points on a box, box and whisker plot, and that's what those represent.